Hello guys, welcome back at Shiba Mango channel. As you all know, this is the number one channel, guys. Number one channel full of flavor. Uh, leo siri asema juicy juicy mango mango. Kwa sababu, there is no juicy juicy, there is no mango mango, there is nothing sweet to, sweet about to say, yani yo juicy juicy na mango mango and whatever. So, Guys, vile muna muliona to the previous video. Vile kulienda. Dikina Lucy wale meet. Nika watres, nika wakuta, wakiwa somewhere relaxing. Wakiongea, wakipiga story, they were laughing. Nikaenda, dikia kani notice, haka gutuka. Na... I noticed something that whenever Dikia likuwa kiangalia macho za Lucy as in nika alikuwa alikuwa naisha nguvu anakosa kufikiria ananza yani kuona mapenzi kwa Lucy something like that na whenever Lucy alikuwa kimuongelesha kwa karibu Sijui, guys, sijui. Sijui uyo mwana mki ya mifanyia nini mwazazan. Kwa sababu, you and me, guys, we know that Diki is not like that. Diki is not that kind of a man that atangalia mwana mki ya kwe. Na mina jua kama Diki wasn't ready for this relationship. Sa hii, Hatunge kuwa hapa. Tangu, tangu tutu kwe hooked up na stano. Misi jai, atujai kosana na diki. Hatujai kosani ya ti diki yo mambo ya wanaake. Uh -uh. Diki is not like that. I think that woman is bewitching my husband. Kwa sababu wata ni meona kwa commentation, watu wengi sana wananiambia. Diki wasn't alone. That woman has been bewitching my husband. Na, I just don't know vile nitaweza kudil na this situation. I'm here just by myself. Niko na mtoto mdogo. Mme wangu hayuko. Like, kila kitu sasa imesimama. Na shinduwa nifanyaje ni anzie wapi. At times nafikiri ya vitu vingine, I don't want to say in front of the camera. Tangu tu diki ya hende misi jakuwa na amani ya roo guys. As in to this, this pain that I'm feeling inside me, it's killing me. Iyo pain, it's unbearable. That pain, ni pain misi jai sikia. Ti jai sikia pain kaiyo kwa roho yangu. Kwa sababu, Diki is my happiness. 
tangu tu nikutane na Diki a lot of things zime change kabisa kabisa Diki ndiye amenifundisha how to love again Mimi nilikuwa nimetoka kwa dunia kusema mimi na mapenzi mm-mm. Lakini right now someone from somewhere I don't know I've never seen anakuja tu she wants to steal my love away from me she wants to take what is mine she wants to take what like <laughs> sorry this woman ni kama ananitoa tonge la ugali ama nyama kwa mdomo sijia mnanielewa i feel so bad about this guys i feel so so bad i feel so hard like my heart i just feel like my heart is bleeding right now it's not easy your man going on the back of your mind you know that akona mwanamke mwingine na huyo mwanamke ni ex girlfriend wake na unajua tu at the back of your mind you clearly know that wako na yeye saa hii sleeping on the same roof obviously sleeping in the same bed na mimi sasa niko na mtoto mdogo I I just even don't want to imagine zile vitu zinafanyika huko I just can't imagine I don't even want to think about it Na this woman amenishangaza sana she even have the guts to come into my house Hana aibu even after taking my husband away from me na hizo madawa zake bado ako na guts za kukuja kwangu kunitisha na kisu ama kuninyoshia kidole ako na guts za kuja kunishikia kisu mimi kwangu ako na guts za kukuja kutreten mtoto wake mnyameza 9 months inside her womb ako na guts bado za kumtreten na kisu akimwambia wewe mama sijifanya hivi nini anamtembezadi mgutupu akimsukuma sukuma me i saw that in the video like i felt so so bad and i felt so sorry for that innocent boy how i wish that prince was my son how i just wish that this lucy thing hainge why he happened haiku why he happened like wow Lucy amekuja na moto. Amekuja na moto na amekuja kama amevuka mpaka mara moja. Lucy amekuja tu amevuka mpaka kabisa kabisa kabisa. Ali threatened Diki in the first video that niliwaona walikuwa wawili. Akam threaten. Akamwambia ti If I can't have you then no one will have you. Na I'm amused. Na zile vitu zenye ame, amefanya like ameachieve ile kitu alikuwa anataka most. Lakini mimi I'm not giving up. Kwenye Mungu amenitoa ni mbali sana. Ni mbali sana for me to give up. Sai it's not the right time to give up. I know that
I know that kila kitu may happen so fast. Na I may grab kitu yangu araka sana. Even though I've tried fighting but nimekuja kuona that hii si vita ya kimwili sio vita ya kimwili ni vita ya kiroho na vita ya kiroho ndio upigane you must be smart upstairs you must be very very smart na i'm going to fight for what is mine even if it takes to call every pastor wenye mimi najua i will pastor mwenye aliombia mamangu ni vile right now hayuko angekuwa ningekuwa nishasaidika kitambo sana lakini i know that god has always been fighting for me and god is always on my side how i just wish that angel lakota angekuja tu aniambie what to do ani guide aniambie tu whom should i face niende kwa nani ni like anipatie tu shoulder ya clean on kwa sababu saa hii nimeona hata kwa mtandaoni mambo mingi sana zimetokea mambo na pastors watapeli wauaji nini so i'm kind of afraid naenda kutafuta usaidizi kwa mtu hafai i just wish that god should just guide me guys i how i pray that god should just guide me how oh, i wish that my dad akikuwa bado how oh, i wish that angel akot bado piangekuwa at least one ni guide nowadays it's very rare for angel akot to come but nashukuru mungu at least on that previous video that ilicheza nilisikia her presence bado iko ikanipatia hopes i hope that i'm not hoping in vain i just wish that angekuja tu aniambie what should i do ama angeenda tu asaidie diki kwa sababu this was it's very it's very hard for me to fight especially me having a baby a two months baby it's very very difficult oh god sorry guys i'm becoming so emotional So I am just all alone here day in day out trying to adapt with the situation that my husband is not with me at least najipatia tu nguvu nikisema it's not his fault najipia tu nguvu nikisema ni uchawi najipia tu nguvu nikisema atarudi na najipia tu nguvu sana 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 juu ya mtoto wangu i know he really needs me he really needs me more than ever guys just help me pray help me in prayers i really need your prayers wana semanga prayers can move mountain wana semanga pale kwenye ume umeisha matumaini kabisa kabisa umepoteza matumaini 
that is when God always comes. Na hapo ndiyo Mungu anasaidia ngamcha wake. Sasa so in my lowest point I just feel like I need somebody to talk to. I need somebody to come and at least any motivate to any ongeleshe to
Indeed, God answers prayers. With faith, everything is possible. Indeed, God answers prayers. Jet planes in the night sky with Thank you, you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Get high in the sunrise with you. Guys, stay tuned. Just know that God answers prayers. With faith, everything is possible. I wasn't missing a thing, no. And I wish that I could do this and see. Cause time moves on. And now you're gone. Oh, if only I could do this.